OK, so let's take a look. What I'm simply going to do is I'm going to replace the, fo the settings file within this folder with this new one. I'm going to go to Viewer Change Settings. I'm going to go Read Write Settings File. I'm going to scroll to the bottom to Z scores. And I'm going to find Z% percent OK, Upper Lower. And there's one, yours will probably say Upper Lower Mark Smith. But I'm going to use one that I made that's Upper Lower Modified. OK? Z% Zocal Mark Smith? Yeah. Well, is it going to be similar to what you're going to Yeah, it's the same. There's only one change, and I'll tell you what it is. So you can't make, you can't open another one without creating a new username. Is that correct? That is not correct. What I did is I stayed in the same folder, and I'm pulling new settings in the same folder. Read in settings from, right? Right. I'm going to highlight the settings file that I want to replace the old settings with. Now I hit read in settings. It's going to tell me OK to read settings in from this file. Basically, I'm taking this new Z% OK, upper lower, and putting it right over top the one that was just Z% OK. Click OK. I don't have an upper lower. Is that something you It should say Mark Smith, UL Mark Smith. All I've got is just... What, what version of software? Are you in 3.09 or something? <laughs> yeah, you just got to, up. if you upgrade the software, you'll get the new settings file. Yeah. Once, we're, once we've highlighted... That, folder, then hit read in settings from this file. It's to the right. Do you see it? No. What 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 is the top of your title bar say? Which window are you in? Select training study folder. Okay. What you want to do is that's not where you want to be. You want to hit OK and get out of there. Okay. Go back to viewer change settings. Are you in the setup option window? Yes. Okay, go to the top button that says read write settings file. Oh, okay, good, got it. Thank you. Then scroll down to the upper lower, the Mark Smith upper lower, and then highlight and click in read in settings. That's what Z O K U L means? Yeah. Upper lower. And you highlight it and then click OK? No, you highlight it in read in settings, then OK. Okay. Everybody with me? How do you check to make sure that that's in fact just happened? We're going to look. There's a window where it tells you. Mm -hmm. so can we go through that one more time? So like create? Sorry. Well, you're checking the one what do you want to do? Do you want to create a new one or do you want to overwrite the old settings? Oh, create a new one. Then go create new folder. Right. Put in the name just right. like you would. Uh -huh. And when hit OK. And when the settings file comes up, scroll down to the Mark Smith upper lower. And then just hit OK, right? You got it. OK. I did that. All right. We're good. All right. We're all good, right? Yeah, we're all good. Now, if you have Mark Smith upper lower, I want you to look next to training protocol for goes and stops and tell me if you see anything other than the words, the two words, none and none. How do you get back there? 5020. Yeah. Auto off 5020. Well, okay. How do you get back to set up options? <laughs> Viewer change settings. Hit OK. You're, you probably haven't hit OK yet. Okay, so uh, tell me the name of the file we're in. I'm in B Bill Z four fifteen, but you could be in anything, basically. No, that was the settings file, Mark Smith. That's where you are. I clicked that one. I clicked Mark Smith. If you're in the settings file, yes. Uh -huh. Click it and then hit read in settings from this file. Hmm? It can. Some have say Mark Smith, some say others. Okay. Are we good? Yeah. All right. So the question I was asking is under your training protocol where it says go or stop, does everybody say none and none right here? Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay, good. The old Mark Smith that got in there by accident had a go on alpha by accident. Had a what? Go on alpha. Uh -huh. So you had to put it on ignore. Just wanted to make sure nobody was running that. Okay? Now. Let's look at the event wizard. One change in this protocol. Okay. Before it was x equals z percent OK compared to uther. Now it's uther comma gther. The only change in the protocol. 
Okay, so we hit OK. I hit use these settings. I go run the next session. I hit go. And just look at mine for a second. Okay? I want to scroll down. I want to look at something here. Okay. Now, the big difference here is under Uther, I then have Gther, and it's the G key for the lower limit. Okay? Everybody with me there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, when I look right over to here where I'm looking at the definition of my bullseye or my standard deviation, I see 2.0 as my high side, negative 0.5 as my low side. Exactly. Before it was plus or minus, and you had no control. It was going to be as wide as you needed it to be. I had minus two. I would just press the G, and that would get it down. Correct. And this particular protocol is mark zero K. Mark zero K upper U L. It says that on the title. Right. The title of the settings file, not your folder. Okay. Okay. Everybody with me so far? Sure. Okay. Here we go. So, I see 2.0, 1.5. Right now, I'm looking at, wow, okay, I'm getting a high percentage of z-scores falling within that window, right? So, I could now take that 2.0 and take it down to 1.5 on the high side. And what just happened? The percentage of z-scores that could meet that criteria or fall within that bullseye just plummeted down. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So now I have a biased window. Instead of plus or minus 1.5, which is three standard deviations, I have 1.5 on the high side, negative 0.5 on the low side. I got a two standard deviation window, much tighter. Okay. So right up here in the vent or in um, tech stats, I see the numbers representing. Okay. Now right here, you can't see the second, the low, the low end. Well, it's it, this is the low end. You can't see the high end. Okay. Now I can correct that. I didn't need it for Kylie, but I, I'm going to show you how to correct that. Okay. That's why I've left it like this, so you can see there's a trick in the event wizard that most people don't know. Okay, I want to take my standard deviations out of that first window. I don't need them there. I can put them in separate boxes below. Okay, everybody following me, or everybody looking a little? I got a red line that's dropping all by itself. You got a red line that's dropping all by itself because you're not meeting criteria anymore. Just like I'm not. Because I tightened it down to 1.5 to negative 0.5, all of a sudden my z-scores fell below, for the most part, my green line. I'm only above my green line 8.5% of the time. And that red line is Percent time expanding the, uh, it's expanding the difference, the distance between the, that z-summative. No, it has nothing to do with that. It's simply telling you the amount of time that you're meeting criteria, percentage of time that you're happy. So when the red line plummets, means you're not getting enough feedback. Yeah. Because, because, because you've done one of two things. Your percentage is too high or your window's too small. So does you still control? Yes. Upper. Just one. Yep. You controls the upper. G controls the lower. So you have upper and you have ground if you want to try to put some word okay. to it. But it's simply U and G. Okay? All right.